Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I figured I would show you guys some ideas, um, well just one idea really, um, on how to manage your scraps. Um, I think I'm going to keep continuing this until I can get this pile a little bit more manageable. So this is one of my paper, paper? This is one of my plastic envelopes. I got these envelopes, actually got these envelopes off of Gail's favorite things. Uh, she has a list of Amazon favorites that she likes, and I found these on there. Uh, she ended up getting the colored ones. I like clear. Anyone who knows anything about me knows I want to see what's in my containers. So I like the clear ones. Um, anyway, that's where I got these from. Got them from Amazon off of Gail's favorite things. So anyway, this is completely full, and I have anything in here from Christmas to um, extra paper that, sorry, I moved my camera and now it's really close to my table because I was doing beading work for a while. Anyway, just extra print offs from when I create my labels, but this is really, really good paper. It's 32 pound paper. Um, so when I print out orders, um, I keep the excess so I can use it and because I love this paper, it's really a soft and what can I say? Anyway, we're going to move it from this pile into <laughs> this empty basket over here. And then hopefully we will be able to do a little bit more with it um, in its new form versus this. So some of you might know what this is over here on the corner. I'm not going to move this into camera completely. It's very heavy. It's very large and it does take up a lot of space on my desk. But this is the Vagabond 2. It is an electric die cutting machine not to be confused with a Cricut. It is not a self cutting die, die cutting machine. Uh, or it's not a self cutting machine. I don't even know how to say that. They're very different. Like with a Cricut, you can like use computer programming or whatever to um, decide what you want to cut. But with this one, you still need to cut with the dies. So I'm just going to grab my first little envelope here. And I'm going to do these little flowers because I don't know about you guys, but I can use flowers for days. So I'm going to... Yeah, I think I'm just going to stick with those two. And I'm just going to use up pieces that are about this size. So, and this is magnetic here. So we're going to put this down. I'm going to put that down. And then we're going to find a piece of paper. And we're going to cut that. Okay. And we're just going to push the button. And hopefully that's not too loud for you guys. Um, but we're literally just going to take this from one side as wastes and scraps to the other side and I will go through and I will pick out all of the holes and doohickeys a little bit later. I'm not going to do that. I'll show you what it looks like thereabouts anyway. So that is the little dainty flower. That's going to go in there. I'm going to pull that out of there and I'm going to go ahead and grab this little waste bucket here. And we're just going to fill that up. That way I don't end up with just paper everywhere. Because I'm pretty sure the last time I did this, I ended up with paper everywhere. <laughs> like there was little dots of paper. And crannies and loops and all kinds of stuff. And I was like, I didn't even know paper could get in those little spots. But they could. So I really hope this isn't too loud for you guys. But I wanted to show you guys kind of what I do with the, um, with the scraps. And 
time. This one is stuck. Okay, I'm not going to fight with this. I'm just going to pull it apart where it wants to pull apart. Because I don't really want to spend a whole lot of time doing this. Because the whole point is to kind of go quickly through everything. All right, so I've also got some um, some thicker papers, and oh wait, I've got some paper bags. Oh my gosh, got these. Oh, that might be too small. It is. But that's not. I'm not sure about the sticky. We'll save that for another time. But right now, I want to try to do, make sure there's no sticky in there because I don't want it to mess up my machine. And I don't think it will, but just in case. My paper moved. Ah, oh, my paper moved again. Why does it keep moving? Here, let's do it this way. Oh. Maybe it was a blessing in disguise because I still had little doohickeys in there. I have a pokey tool somewhere. Oh, yeah. smashed my finger earlier. I don't even know how I did it. I just know that my my thumb is sore now. Alright. We're gonna put this back in its little container. Don't want to lose it. Actually, need more dyes. Um, oh, look at that! Isn't that cool? Seems to like the thicker paper better. Go figure. <laughs> That's really pretty. Not too bad for a Christmas bag, huh? <laughs> That's really pretty. <laughs> All right, so let's do that again. But this is just a super easy way to get through a lot of scraps. You got a lot of scraps? Use your back cutting machine. And depending on what kind of scraps are left over like this, you could use these too. Like I will probably keep this one. I'm not going to keep the white necessarily because uh, I have a lot of white and such. But like this red, this red is a good one to keep, I think. And it's probably not good to beat up your dyes. I know someone out there is probably yelling at me. Don't do that! Oh, gosh. Oh, speaking of don't do that, I wanted to uh, go over something with you guys uh, or just kind of inform you. Um, so I know there's a lot of people out there in, you know, in the various communities I have been a part of um, that have my email address. And that's fine. I just want to let everyone know that if you, like, solicit to my email address whatever it is you're soliciting is going in my spam folder because I have so much spam already that I just I just don't need more um so I just wanted to let everyone know that um and I'm not saying that anybody did anything or whatever I'm just kind of letting you know I'm not you know picking on you or anything like that I put all spam in the spam folder all of it all solici solicitations um, whether they were coming from you know 
wherever. Yes. Ah, all right. I got a notification from Etsy. I um, I ordered something on January third, and I literally just sent the the shop owner a message. And I was, I felt like I was very polite, and I was just like, you know, just as a fellow shop owner, I figured I would let you know that my package still hasn't gotten here yet. And she just replied back to me, and you know, obviously the the postage has been less than optimal this year it's been a little cray cray all right so i do want to keep going with the um the sky because the sky is really pretty so i'm gonna grab some more scraps that i've got here um ah! and let's see how big you are can we do it this way yes we can all right so i'm gonna actually just grab my scissors here and i'm gonna cut and I'm just going to cut a couple of these because I really like this paper. And I could use these little flower doohickey thingies in a lot of places. So let's keep doing that. I wish I had another one, though. That would be really cool. Um, let's see. I wonder. I could do... Like that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can we find something else to put on here too? Or is it going to mess everything up if we do that? I'm still new to this whole um, vagabond thing. I've really only used it a handful of times. Um, but I really like butterflies, so I'm going to go with the butterflies. All right, let's see what can we find that will go with the butterflies. Really anything, I think. This is really pretty. Are you going to be big enough? I have several sizes of the butterflies, though, so I think it'll be fine. Maybe not with this one. No. <laughs> that one's too big. Mm. We can use that one. Ooh, or that one. I like that one. And see, I like stuff like this because I love using butterflies and I hate fussy cutting. So it's a win-win. All right. So we're going to do this and then we're just going to keep on chomping. And this one here is actually a, okay, fine. A, um... Uh, it was like a 12 by 12, but it was, it had like four six by six papers on it. It was pretty neat, actually. Uh, I got this paper at, I want to say Tuesday morning. Probably Tuesday morning, because I get a lot of paper from Tuesday morning. So they have really great paper selection for very inexpensive prices. The Valentine's paper that I got this year. I found it on scrapbook.com for like $25 and I got it at Tuesday morning for 10. Like it was kind of crazy. All right. Oh, it does need to be actually kind of close to the little thing. All right, there we go. And then and then, oh, that is so pretty. And see, with this particular one, because it's double-sided paper, you could use either or. Ah, that is so cool. All right, let's gulp you guys out. And see, this is why I'm not doing, doing it with the actual die cuts, at least not on camera, because it's going to take enough time just to get them out of the dies. Bloop, bloop. All right. Oh, I missed one. Okay. And then this guy here. Oh my gosh, look at this. I just like fell right on out. That is so cool. So that's one side. 
And then that's the other side. Oh man, that is so, so neat. Bloop. Bloop. All right. So. Oh yeah, we want to save those. We're going to play with those a little bit later. All right, so there's one. Bloop. And there's one. Bloop. I love this machine. This machine is amazing. It is like godsend to anyone who has ever had any issues with your wrist at all. Oh, this one actually cut my washi tape too. Where are you? There you are. See it? That's funny. Oh, that's funny. I need another little bucket for these guys. All right, hold that. For my my scraps from my scraps. That's terrible, right? It's like my scraps need scraps or my scraps are having scraps or however that's, uh, I don't know, but it's crazy. Come out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Okay, hold that, hold that. Come out, you. Really? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All right. So there's one side and there is the other side. Oh, that is so cool. I love it. All right. So there's one and, um, pokey, 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 pokey. Don't pokey, pokey me though. That would be bad. So basically you can just sit here, turn on the YouTubes or, you know, the Netflix or Hulu or whatever it is you like doing while you're sitting there watching whatevs or listening to an audiobook. I was watching a YouTuber the other day and she had mentioned that she likes to listen to an audiobook while she's crafting. And I'm like, that is a genius idea. I love reading and I just don't have the time to anymore. That's perfect. Like I need to start doing that more often. All right. And there we go. Oops. And I'm trying to go back and forth with this plate, like this way, then this way, then this way, then that way, and all kinds of right. Right now it's kind of warped that way, but I'm trying to like push it down. So hopefully I can warp it to the other direction. But apparently there's no getting away from the whole warping thing. I don't know. I have no idea. Alright, hold that. And, oh, where'd my tape go? Give me that back. Hold that. Bloop. Alright. Isn't that pretty? I mean, it won't have all the little doickies in there, but oh, I love that die. That is so fun. This one would be better if you come out. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Oh, gosh. I love that. All right. Let's see. Um, oh, here's some more. Uh, let's do this one with the butterfly this time. Oh, we can get a lot out of this one. That fits almost perfectly. All right.
Look, we're making our scraps smaller <laughs> into smaller scraps. All right, so there's that one. Hold that. And then let's do. One. That's basically what we do to use up our scraps. We make them smaller so they are more manageable and more useful in a given situation. the thing again. Oh, I cut both of them that time. That's funny. Alright, so there's that one. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. That's neat. And then there's that one. Poof. Oh, look how pretty. I love that. All right, so basically we're just going to keep doing this until, you know, we dwindle our scraps down. So if you guys are looking for more ideas on how to use your scraps, just let me know and I can definitely um, see if I can look around and find some inspiration. And um, I can definitely share with you guys how I personally use up the scraps. But using scraps is actually kind of new to me because normally I just throw everything away, which is actually a terrible thing to do, especially if you're trying to conserve your you know, your inventory and, you know, just play with what you have instead of buying new ones. So anyway, um, thank you guys so much for joining me on this. Uh, I don't know what you call this uh, scrap busting adventure. I have no idea what you call this. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.